Hi, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, across the country, the westerly change is about to move back. But for Monday, we've actually got northerly winds for most areas. Here's the current wind map, the big high that brought the settled weekend. That's drifting away well out to the east. Now we've got a north to northeasterly flow across many parts of the country ahead of a burst of rain and then in come the westerlies and those westerlies really do dominate for the entire week ahead which means tuesday goes downhill a wee bit in fact monday afternoon and evening go downhill in some areas but it's really tuesday that you get the the big swing back to westerlies or southwesterlies and they'll be colder for some regions there'll be a bit of snow around the mountains of the south island and in the north island you start off with westerlies but you should end with a more southwest angle which means the temperatures do drop a little bit around tuesday and probably for wednesday as well this is wednesday's map look at the southwest is blowing through so lots of showers are scattered around the western side and the airflow does get cooler around Tuesday and Wednesday in many parts of the country so it'll feel a little bit more like we're back in August but it won't last too long because by the time we reach Thursday the winds are swinging back to the northwest again which means eastern New Zealand will be mild western uh, areas of the North Island will also be mild and the rain returns to the west coast with once again snow falling on the mountains so by Friday the next cold front swings by, the temperatures drop a little bit on Friday behind it uh, as a result of that cold front, but we're back to westerlies again. And once we get into Saturday, no end in sight for those westerlies blowing through. More rain on the west coast, showers for the North Island's western side, high pressure well to the north. And so we're pretty much in this uh, unsettled pattern for the rest of the week and then also heading into the coming weekend. The wind's behind it. There is a chance we might get a colder southerly this month. We're still waiting for it, but there is a chance of a southerly flow perhaps in the third week of August. But at the moment, this week is dominated by westerlies. That's all from me. We'll update you again tomorrow with the latest.